Hi there. O3 be good here. Biatch. <laughs> All right, I'm not very fucking happy. Some asshole on Wikipedia named Material Scientist. I don't know who the fuck you are, but if I ever see you in real life, I will crush you. You, you son of a bitch. No, wait, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. <laughs> Hold on, that's not it. Oh, this is it, this is it. Die, you son of a bitch. Die. No, wait, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Oh, this is it. Die! No, oh, damn it, that's not it either. Oh, wait, this is it. This is it. I don't know who the fuck you are, but if I ever see you in real life, which I doubt I will, but if I ever do, and I find out you're the person who banned me, I will find you. I will cut you up. I will beat you up. I'll knock you on your backside, stand on your gut like a log roller. No, wait, that's not it either. <laughs> that damn sure ain't it. This is it. But if I ever see you in real life, which I doubt I will, but if I ever do, and I find out you're the person who banned me, I'm going to punch you in the face as hard as I can. Because apparently he ban he blocked me from editing on uh, Wikipedia, I don't know what, I don't know, I've been fucking blocked, I didn't even do anything wrong. The motherfuckers me blocked for, till the 9th of December 2015, that is fucking horse shit. I did nothing fucking wrong. You know what, material scientists? Fuck you. I sent a, an appeal block, and you, you turned it down, you stupid, ignorant motherfucker. You know what, this fucking website is a joke, it shouldn't even exist. It is a fucking joke. It should not exist. If anything, Jimmy Wells should be ashamed of himself for inventing this website. This is bullshit. I'm sick and tired of fucking something happening to me on, on the internet where I get banned or blocked from doing something. The internet is full of shit. I prefer to live in a. I prefer to live life before the fucking internet existed. Like that, that would be much better. But yeah, this is just fucking horse shit. Fuck you, Wikipedia. And fuck you, whoever you are, material scientist. You can go fuck yourself. Hello there. I'm going to do a commentary on this video called You're All Horrible People, Cartoon Fans by Athetic Tirades. I don't know. But I'm only going to do it on the part where he mentions me. And in this video, he mentions me, Anime James, Clay Claymore, and Mysterious Mr. Enter. So here we go. And this guy critiques children's cartoons, all cartoons in general. I wouldn't mind that so much. But again, as I said before, he acts like these cartoons are the bane of his existence. Jesus Christ, if you're gonna have if you're gonna have a job, at least have some sort of fucking like fun with it. He is trying to get a job. He's trying to get that growing around series. At least in some form. I think he wanted to pitch it to like the Disney Channel or Cartoon Network, and I don't blame him because I'm trying to get an animated series off the ground as well. So, I used to be subscribed to this guy, and I'm not anymore. I regret that. But there's a guy much worse than Mr. Enter. Look, Mr. Enter's videos are boring and lackluster. I wouldn't say they were... they're boring and lackluster. 
I just think that, that I don't know. He's just too stuck on himself. I mean, he does take cartoons a little bit too seriously. Kind of like how SPAC 3 took Sonic the Hedgehog too seriously. But at the very least, he's not like one certain person that Clay Claremont has actually devoted a few videos to. Don't even mention that guy. I do not like him. Interestingly enough, the person I'm talking about is... This is 03 Be Good. Well, at least you said my username right. A fan of Mysterious Mr. Rancher. Unsurprisingly enough. So, this guy. This guy is not only the epitome of a lol cow, but if you looked up lol cow in a dictionary, you wouldn't find it because it's not a real word. What, did you think of that joke all by yourself? Congratulations! So, o 3 Be Good is a guy who makes similar rants to, uh, to Mysterious Mr. Rancher. Except I don't have a capture card or anything to record footage of cartoons. And besides, I'm not getting into this whole copyright fiasco because these companies like Viacom don't give a shit about fair use. Except that this guy is really funny to laugh at. What do you mean by funny? Like, laughing at you or laughing with you, and I think you might be leaning more towards the latter. Especially Clay Claymore, who I think it's because he's got the profile pic of an African-American, or she, or whoever it is, because it's anonymous. But this guy is motherfucking racist. Okay, here's a little trivia for you. I don't live in Alabama. I don't live in any southern states. I live in the midwestern part of the United States, and I will admit, it doesn't it doesn't matter where you live. There's going to be racism somewhere. And I'm sorry that I called this guy the N word. Okay. I'm sorry. Yes, I kind of have a mouth of the South, and I do kind of take my racism a little far. But Mario the Plumber used to call Knuckles the N word. Because I do not give a shit about you right now. Oh, thanks for telling me that. Enough to try to just be more angry than I am right now. Because You know what? I'm more angry with my life every day. Okay, you know, I thought when I entered this world, I was going to make something of my life. Okay, I have autism. I'm sorry if I use it as an excuse. I'm sorry if, you, if I look like Chris Chan 2.0 to you guys, okay? I'm just trying to make some living out of my life. That is not very kind. Calling me worthless. You know, at least I don't say people who like the oblongs are monsters. Oh, they man. What? It's not surprisingly enough, you probably called Mr. Enter a man-child as well. Oh, okay. First of all, this guy still lives in his parents, yes, he... Actually, I've been living in an apartment for the past three years, okay? I do not live in my parents' house anymore. I come to their house every weekend, but other than that, I live in an apartment. Do you guys not understand that? Did you not see the background of my room in this video? This is not my room, it's an apartment. This is in his 30s, I wouldn't find that so much, but... Actually, I'm 27. Jesus Christ, he's probably going to be the new Chris Chan if you haven't heard about him. Oh, don't even remind me. Mine, he's a very victorious figure. Yeah. And what he does is complain about cartoons, video games, and books. Okay, yes, I do complain about video games. Like how everything's mature rated and there's not very many good games for kids anymore. That's because I'm concerned about kids. Okay, I'm sorry if in the past I say M-rated games are destroying our society, which it's kind of true, but not completely true. But I can't play video games that are mature rated. I don't own very many of them. I'm afraid if I play those games, I'm going to end up like Adam Lanza, and I don't want that.
all that shit. You know, once he made this video complaining about people. Do you didn't like dumb and dumb and dumb? I'm disappointed that people didn't like it, even though you could have just enjoyed it, right? There's nobody saying you can't enjoy it, they just don't enjoy it. And then he made a very out of place ISIS threat. First of all, it was not a threat. I said in my Dumb and Dumber 2 rant that this country's becoming so ungrateful that if we got handed over to ISIS, we'd be screwed. I did not say you should all be handed over to ISIS for not liking Dumb and Dumber 2. Or how would we, we, how would we like to be handed over to ISIS and be beheaded? Huh? Maybe we'd be more appreciative of this country. When I actually watched the first few minutes of the first movie, I already got sick of it. I, two hours of that. Two hours of that. Two hours. Uh, gee. Would you rather watch, I don't know, Epic Movie or Jack and Jill instead? It's being stupid. That's the whole point of Dumb and Dumber. It was supposed to be stupid. It was supposed to be about the, these guys in their late 20s or early 30s going on this road trip to deliver a briefcase that this woman lost at the airport. It was supposed to be stupid. It's even called Dumb and Dumber. And it's known as one of the best comedies ever made. Waste my time. It would appeal to some people. That's fine. A lot of people liked it. People quote the movie to this day still. It's all right. It's just not for me, you know. Okay, to each your own with your opinions. I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything, but that's just how it is. Dumb and Dumb 2 looks even worse, and I'm not going to even waste my time. Well, I wouldn't say it looks worse. It doesn't look any better than the first movie. What time was it? And I thought it was all right. I mean, it... Could have been. It could have been bad. It could have been a lot worse. It could have ended up like *Son of the Mask* or the god awful prequel where they're in high school. This guy can't accept other people's views. Okay, I'm sorry if I come off as a jerk who doesn't accept other people's opinions, but you guys act like your opinions are the absolute truth, while you're saying my opinions are invalid. This is how this whole thing started two and a half years ago. Obviously, evidence by his latest video. Of like it's not Dorymon, it's Doraemon. Even the Disney XD dub pronounces it like that. And yes, I get mad because there's this character named Big G who beats up Nobi. But that, I, that's why I hate that character. That, is a, that, is a, that guy is an asshole. He beats him up over the most trivial shit. I'm not allowed to complain about that, but you're allowed to complain about Megan from... Drake and Josh being a karma Houdini, but I'm not allowed to give my input. See, this is what I'm talking about the opinions. It's just one person. Just made a bloody video about it. I'm not going to say anything more about that because Claymore has done a magnificent job of presenting the truth. In your own opinion. Check it out. It's a link. Look, I don't give a shit if you don't like Birdman or Sapphire or any of these things I Okay. Birdman. I gotta be honest with you, I watched the movie, it was awful. Say for the last 15 minutes, that was pretty cool. This guy, wow. He, wow, he's the worst cartoon fan I've ever Worst cartoon fan? I like Rick and Morty, Futurama, The Powerpuff Girls. How does that make me the worst cartoon fan? Huh? Come on, at least I can have some fun with him. At the very least, he is... Yeah, at your own expense. The bottom of the barrel. Not gonna even say anything. Well, um, okay. I just want to apologize again. I'm sorry if I come up, come off as a biased person or don't respect other people's opinions. But sometimes you guys act like your opinions only count. So don't just say I'm guilty. You guys can be guilty too. But you know, I'm sorry if I, you know, uh, but I think I'm being misunderstood as a horrible person. You got it all wrong about me, okay? Yes, I come off as a biased jerk sometimes, and sometimes I cut down certain nationalities or saying ISIS would should hand it. Well, I didn't even say ISIS. I didn't use the ISIS threat as a threat. I just said, what if, okay? And I'm really sorry if I do some of this despicable crap, okay? You know, I'm a human being, I'm not perfect, and I'm sorry if I use my autism excuse. And But look, okay, for those who are comparing me to Chris Chan, 
There's two things he did that I didn't do. He burnt his house down trying to brew coffee in his bathroom. Then he makes a GameStop employee. I don't even know how the trial went on that. I do have maybe a few things that are similar to Chris Chan. Yes, I cross-dress for Halloween at least. Okay? But, you know, if I end up like Bruce Jenner, so be it. If I get my animated series made, you know, it's up to me what I want to do. You guys can't dictate what I do, and I can't dictate what you guys do, and I'm sorry for these, you know, being a jerk when it comes to opinions, and I need to learn to expect. I'm trying to improve. I, at least I removed my Doraemon and IMDb rants, so that's a start, and I'm pretty sure those videos have been copied, but I gotta go, and I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye. I hope Clay Claymore dies in a car crash. He needs to stop fucking harassing me and Mr. Enter. I'm so fucking sick of Google doing absolutely nothing about this asshole. I get fucking banned from IGN like 25 fucking times but Google has yet to do anything about this motherfucker as far as suspending his account goes. Innocent people lose their accounts to the violation of fair use but this asshole gets off scot-free for making fun of people like me and Mr. Enter, and calling us names like Autist Faggot and Manchild. God, I hate the fucking internet. Someone needs to grow some balls, and start a class action lawsuit against Google and YouTube. Ever since these assholes have came on here, YouTube has fucking gone downhill. It's already bad enough that copyright videos are taken down all the fucking time. Dear Google slash YouTube, if you guys don't start doing your jobs, and suspending accounts that break the terms of violation as far as slander, bigotry, and making fun of minorities or anyone with a disability goes, you will have a class action lawsuit against you. I am not fucking joking either. So you better fucking watch it. Well, good luck with all that.